Okay, y'all, I really want to get in y'all business. I really need to know. Are you someone that will not help a woman if she has a man? We can talk about this. And the reason why I have this couple posted here is because they are both homeless. And she just revealed that she's been in a relationship. Now, this is Wes Indie Mommy. And I'm going to tag her on TikTok and on YouTube, where I'll follow her on both platforms, okay? And if you also see this on Facebook or Instagram and time runs out, please go to my YouTube, The Carolina Diamond, to watch the full story. Now, she has been coming across my FYP page all day every day okay on tiktok asking for money you know rental cars money for hotels this is no judgment against her at all sis do you do if people want to donate they want to donate everybody get in hard situations and when you're in a hard situation you do not have to be looking like you are sleeping on the bottom of somebody's you know uh street corner okay anyway this is her adorable boys and this is her go-to so if you choose to donate donate all right this was a total as of today march the 16th she is located in atlanta now she is always asking for money rental cars she got kicked out of a couple of shelters i think someone let them stay with them a couple they kicked her out so yeah i've been following her but today when something came across my fyp page on tiktok i said okay this is what I saw today. She took a plan B, which you guys know what a plan B is. If you don't, go look it up. Go Google it. And she said that, you know, she doesn't want to have any more children until she's happily married. I understand that. Also, I understand, too, just because she's homeless does not mean she dead. You know, she still wants to have some fun. Although I could say that a, probably a condom is probably cheaper than a plan B, especially since she was just asking people for money because she was on her last. So you kind of have to be careful with things like this because now people are in the comments like, oh, so you got a man or whatever. Ever. So this made me go to her YouTube, which I hadn't went to before because, you know, I'm nosy as hell and I want to know was the man there. And that's when I saw that she introduced her YouTube community to her man, her man, her man, Will. Okay. Will is 45 years old. West Indy is 29 years old. Okay. And well, let me let them tell you how they met. We met at this program. Um... And be real, because I'm real real with my viewers. We met at this program where we're both we're faced with homelessness. And she walked in and caught my attention. Yes, so they met at a homeless shelter. They met back in July. So you've been dating him since July. And my only question is why have neither one of you uh, come up yet you're still both homeless in the same positions now I'm not one, like if you both down and you meet somebody like if you down and you meet somebody sometimes that extra income that other person motivating you push you giving you that renewed drive can help propel you guys to a, be in a better position okay but that hasn't happened because you both are still homeless also I didn't like him skirting around the answer of when she asked him how many children he had. Children do you have? Do you have any children? I have children. How many? Enough. <laughs> Is it on on one finger or more than one well hand? On one hand or more than one hand? All on one hand. So you're a grown man. Why are you not going to say how many kids you have? And then my thing is, too, so how can he help her? Because that means that some, if these children are younger, because he's 45, they could all be adults. But if any of them are not an adult, that means that there is some child support that's not being paid somewhere. There's somebody, somebody has a child that their father is not contributing. Okay. So how can he help her? Because she already has her two kids, you know. She said she doesn't mind dating people with kids. I understand that, but right now it's about her. So I that's why I said, let me bring this to social media. Is this a situation where if you were helping her, you would stop because now she has had a man all this time and still is asking for money and doesn't appear that him in her life is helping at all. If anything, you're having to spend more money because now you had to buy a whole plan B. Now, her YouTube community is a little bit more supportive than her um, TikTok community. And so let me let you see some of the comments. From an older woman to you, focus on you and your boys. Don't bring extra burdens. Then somebody said, baby, he's not the one. Y'all aren't equally yoked. You a hustler and he's not really into that. Well, I don't know about that comment. Because how do you know he's not a hustler? Why? Because he was quiet and didn't want to speak on camera. Some people don't want to hustle on camera. They do their hustle in the background. 
somebody else says it seems like he's waiting on you to come up so he can live off of you girl he seems disinterested red flag a 45 year old man in a shelter trying to holler as wow good luck with him now if this is her page on tiktok if you do want to um follow her and this is her youtube so if you want to go and watch the full video with her and will i'm going to tag them on my page the carolina diamond or if you want to subscribe to um to either page to help her out so maybe you said you know what i don't want to give donations but i will go ahead and watch and comment her videos especially since now on youtube she's monetized that will help her out again i didn't do this story for judgment i just really want to know what people think about helping someone when they have a man um an able-bodied man who's able to work he's not helping her that's my only thing with this there has been no help that i can see that since she had been with him since july because you still are online every day asking for money um still homeless you know she has a job she's working so let me know what your thoughts are y'all